Hello, and welcome to round two of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of January 3rd. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Catherine Haleko. Hello. Usually on this podcast, we talk about parenting issues, but once a week, Catherine and I like to get together to discuss TV, movies, books, and other entertainment topics, because it's nice to talk about something other than parenting for a change. This week, we are continuing with Ted Lasso season two. We watched uh, episodes five and six, Rainbow and The Signal. And these are possibly the two consecutive funniest ones we watched because I was just (laughs) hooting on the couch the entire time I was watching these, particularly Rainbow with its extended (laughs) rom-com tributes and metaphors throughout. Every time they came up with one of them, I just laughed and laughed. (laughs) You had me a coach. Right. And it was kind of a nice follow up to the Christmas one that was, you know, kind of inspired in many ways by love, actually. Right. And this one, they just brought out all of them. (laughs) I mean, it was in the in in, on the one hand, just such an artificial setup uh, because Ted expounds on his theory of rom communism that if you just keep at it, eventually everything will be okay. Right. And then they just kept going with it and going with it and going with it. And once you saw what they were doing, it was so funny. Yes. Um, so <laughs> Roy takes this trip across town because he's got to get to the to where he's going to be coaching and all different sources of transport. Uh, goodness, it was very funny. And uh, let's see, it's hard to remember what exactly when you watch two in a row, which plot points were in which episode was her mother in the first episode that we watched or the second i think it was i believe her mother was in the second one yes um so the first one just involved basically uh roy coming back to coach because uh ted has him talk to the person who's taken his place as captain and it makes a difference and he sees that really what he wants to be doing is being on the field in whatever capacity he can be and not being a talking head, which, you know, yay for that really. Right. Although it was always fun to see him just (laughs) completely going off script, you know, not that there's a script, but yeah, just to hear him say whatever was in his mind (laughs) and using whatever profanity he needed. Absolutely. (laughs) So, yeah, so we'll miss that. But uh, um, seems like a a good thing to have him back. And and Nate is trying to become more assertive. Right. That was in this first one, too. Rainbow that he Um, wanted to get. He like very politely and meekly went into this restaurant and asked to get the special table for his parents for their anniversary. And the the girl at the front desk kind of shut him down and. So he goes to Keely for help kind of meekly and, and Keely and Rebecca sort of help him learn how to assert himself. And he winds up getting the table and he's much, much, you know, feels really good about himself. And then when Roy comes back as a coach, he looks a little chagrined that, you know, so uh, he feels, um, displaced. Yes, he does. But he does in the in the following episode, mm-hmm. he makes up for it. Yes, he makes a very good call that wins them the game. And meanwhile, Ted is having a long delayed panic attack slash breakdown. Right. And uh, is availing himself of the services of their in-house psychologist. Psychiatrist. Dr. Sharon. Yes. yes. Their in-house shrink. So Mm -hmm. he has been in much in need of assistance. And so I'm glad he's finally getting it, but a little worried that he had to run off the field and seemed to be, although everybody else accepted that it was just a case of fish pie. Right. (laughs) Also in the signal, Rebecca, I actually, I think maybe over the course of both of these, Rebecca is, is doing these two different online on phone dating services, one in which she's having very intellectual conversations with somebody about Rilke. And on the other, it seems to be mostly, what is it? Tumescent was the name of the app. She's <laughs> yes. trying to get the idea of what it was there for. So we meet one of her swains from the Tumescent app mm-hmm. in all his glory in the second episode. Right. 
And I, I did laugh quite a lot at the, all the people in her kitchen as he's walking around there naked, <laughs> right. varying reactions and his complete lack of uh, upset over any yes. of it. Right. Just happy totally to be, happy to be walking around. Would you like some tea? <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> But meanwhile, she's she's having this much more soulful discussion with somebody who we find out dun 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 at the end of the episode is somebody we know. Somebody we know yes. from the, the workplace, shall we say? It's adorable, <laughs> Sam. Yes. And I had I had been spoiled for that somewhere along the line. I had seen uh, some some reference to the two of them. So she she uh you know. Looks like that could be fun, Rebecca. Maybe you want to go with the guy who speaks well and not the guy who, well, as I think, well, you know, I does think, things well as I well. Think Sam, um, you know, he's easy on the eyes as well. He's a fine looking gentleman. I would yes. not mind encountering him naked in the kitchen would probably be just fine. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> still interesting. Mm-hmm. And where will that go? Yeah. I imagine the next episode we shall see some fruition from that. Uh, there's also a running plot line that of Beard's love life with the very odd Jane. Yes. Who seems to enjoy yanking his chain in mm-hmm. various ways. Yeah. And his friends are concerned for him, but none of them wishes to say anything. You can't say anything. But Higgins feels like something should be said, and he finally does say it. And uh, Beard seems happy that he did, but then goes off with her. And right, hmm. but it, again, it may have it may have planted yes. a seed. One can we hope, hope. that it yes. will. Unlike uh, Rebecca's mother, who we find every two years or so leaves her father, right, and then goes back when he gives her an ecologically conscious gift in this case. I like that detail. It's it's not just a gift, it's an eco-conscious <laughs> gift. <laughs> and but it's also extravagant because in yes. this case it was a yes. Tesla. So. Right. So um so lots of little things going on. They did uh in the signal the signal of the title was uh Roy's signal to Jamie alerting him that he can go back to his normal his previous, we'll just say bratty behavior mm-hmm. uh, and because it works for him and that when he became too good of a team player, he lost his spark and was really kind of useless to them. Right. So apparently but he's only allowed to do it on in certain circumstances. <laughs> yes. So that's why he needs a signal. They will flip the signal when it's time for him to right. be obnoxious. So and it works. It works. There mm-hmm. you go. So right can't affect working right. the so they won their game they we finally saw them win a game i think we've heard of them winning games but not seen them winning games uh-huh. uh, but this time we actually saw it so yay go richmond i enjoyed with the one one bar fly I said i'm gonna burn this bar down if they win <laughs> and then the, may gives him a look and i think it winds up being and he says he's going to knock over a chair and yes. she still <laughs> gives him the look. And he's like, I'm going to express my, my feelings in an appropriate way. <laughs> yes. They're also be, before the, when they're not watching the game, they're watching great British bake off and yes. Oh, screaming at the TV. So funny. I'm never going to watch the great British bake off the same way again. Right. That was so funny. Um, just lots of little, just amusing things dropped in while at the same time, the plot is being moved forward, which is right. And getting to know more and more of the players, you know, I mean, like we got to know Isaac a little better this, Mm -hmm. this time, um, there's Colin, the, you know, the sort of dim Colin, (laughs) (laughs) like you get to understand that that's his defining traits uh-huh. <laughs> so you know each yeah. each time there's a little bit more about somebody yeah so oh, yeah. that's what i liked about that christmas episode is you really get a get a sense of them coming together as a team and being friends mm-hmm. and each being a like an interesting fun person in their particular way right so that is continuing um very fun yeah 
And uh, the rainbow in particular, very funny. <laughs> if you are if you if you are a rom com admirer and can identify all the tropes that they're really <laughs> in there, the tropes and the actual quotes and yes. <laughs> I don't know so much about all the pop culture uh, drops in the, in this show. It seems like a lot sometimes, but this Uh one, this one was funny because they really, they really played it through. Yes. And uh, it was very amusing. Yeah. I'm I'm sure there exists some YouTube video or, (laughs) um, you know, page on, on a, fan site where they yes. identify each and everything <laughs> well the little talking heads thing was what was that when harry met sally that they had that yes <laughs> i thought they were going to do more than one but i guess the one was fine yeah and uh yeah so they were having fun absolutely coming up with different funny things to say uh-huh. for that so delightful hmm. yes uh, so far, six episodes in, I am enjoying season two very much. I perhaps we have not come to the part that people didn't like, but I don't know. Yeah, seems okay so far. I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Halfway through, six more to go. Yeah. Do we have anything else we want to say about these two episodes, which you sort of annoyingly mashed into one? <laughs> we can't help it. <laughs> no, I think. I think I'm good. All right. Next week, we'll discuss season two, episode seven, Headspace, and episode eight, Man City, which is not the name of an app, I'm pretty sure, though it certainly could be. It's a team. But yes, it does go well with Grinder and <laughs> yes. Tumescent. <laughs> or no, not Grinder. It does go well with Banter and yes. Tumescent. <laughs> banter, I notice, is now the, the sponsor of the team. Yeah, because they <laughs> they didn't want Dubai Air anymore. So That's good right. for good for Keely because she must have worked that out. Yeah, um, she's giving it in addition to the Nespresso uh, deal where she's giving yeah. everybody a free coffee maker, except uh-huh. Nate. Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I did I did notice that and kind of enjoyed that they didn't make a big deal out of it. You know, they had made their point about why they didn't want. Dubai Air to be their sponsor yes. anymore. And they didn't turn it into a whole like, right. You know, Sam destroyed the team because he <laughs> lost us a sponsor. Yes. Yes. They allowed it to be um, a successful, you know, yeah, sort of protest or um, statement yeah. that he made um, without turning it. it could, I just feel like on most shows, you would get a right. whole huge long, like, yes. Oh, now we don't have a sponsor. What will we do? <laughs> yeah. And they didn't even really make a point of it other than just, you notice the uniforms are different. It took me like yeah. maybe one and a half episodes to say, wait a minute. Right. <laughs> That's so cool. Mm-hmm. So not that a dating app would necessarily be able to. <laughs> don't think about it too much. Yeah. Probably too mess and has more business anyway, but. <laughs> Oh, uh, but that you couldn't really put that on your on your no. jerseys in a family sport. <laughs> and that's going to be it for our round two today. Please subscribe to our Parenting Roundabout podcast so you won't miss any of our episodes. We have something new for you every weekday. As always, you can find recaps, links, and an opportunity to comment on our website at parentingroundabout.com. Goodbye, Catherine. Hi, Terry. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.